All right, thanks for joining us again. So it's been a little while since we've done a little quick tour through the shop, so let's do a little uh, catch up for what's been going on for the last week or so. So we'll do a little quick, join us as we do a quick tour or something. So here we are with the 58 Impala. Um, be sure and check out our video that we have on the uh, core support and the fabrication and the build with the new radiator. Uh, I think you'll like that. But customers decided before we're done with the car to go ahead and have us change the oil. We're going to do a, just change oil while it's here. And then we're going to, this car came in with just four gauge wire. And that's, you know, the customers don't understand some of this stuff when they buy the cars. But the battery's in the trunk. And it was just wired with four gauge wire from the battery to the engine compartment. And he wanted it kind of left like that. But with this high amp alternator, it's got to be changed. So we're going to add a one aught cable from our bus bar on back. Just It's going to need it. There's no doubt about it. And we shouldn't have even let him talk us out of it initially. We should have just done it. But anyway. So we're going to do that while it's here. Uh, we have all the supplies to do it. We just got to finish up on another job. We have the 66 back. The seat finally came in. So we got the seat installed. And we've had a bedwood kit that's been sitting here. And we waited for the seat to come in so we could do the new seat and install the new bedwood. We've changed the uh, gas filler door from what it was. It was a square one, and the wood was pretty bad. So we have that done. He's finishing up, tightening up everything. Everything's been fit currently. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if you can get a visual of the seat. It's a pretty nice seat. And I think that we have some other real videos of that, but... Uh, seat came in that is a uh, Snowden custom seating seat so if you need a seat check them out they're out of a uh, Fort Worth area the wood kit came from Marque and it was pre-cut pre-stained so we did that but we did we did have to cut it for the uh, filler so we're on to that and then so we have a local customer that's had this truck. We've worked on this truck. It's been 10 years ago since this truck was in. We did an interior. We'll take a quick look at that. But uh, truck's been in storage for quite a while. Uh, had some varmints chew on some of the wiring. We got that addressed. But they weren't happy with the brakes. This cam's a little spicy. It only makes about six inches of vacuum, and they had a vacuum booster brake on it. So what we're doing, we're actually adding a hydro boost on it. We have a new master cylinder. The master cylinder was just eight up. I don't even know if we still have it here. Yeah, here. Take a look at this master cylinder. How corroded it is. Been leaking inside the booster. You know, she was thinking, oh, the brakes are just bad. Well, yeah, the brakes were bad because the brakes were bad. So we're doing that. Um... New water pump, now that we had it running, it's been sitting for a long time, the seals in the water pump had started leaking, so we went ahead and got the new water pump on it, and we're getting ready to start buttoning it up back the front of the motor back up, but that starts and runs. But you can take a look at the, uh, the interior that we did. This interior I did, oh, 12 years ago, I guess. And it's held up, it's got the wool carpet, just a basic vinyl interior but it, it turned out pretty nice headliners all done with smooth you know smooth grain perforated also so that was a pretty nice little interior it's held up really good sitting in storage currently on the uh, 49 we stopped for a couple of days while we did the bedwood but uh, customer was out the other day he was very happy he finally got to see it all assembled uh, we have the inner fenders all assembled firewalls finished out core supports all assembled we got the seat in and on this one we just ordered a seat and foam package and uh, 
this is also from Snowden Enterprises because we don't know what color or design we're going with yet. But one of the things we have gotten done, and I'll get a light and show you, is we have all of the electronics now physically mounted up under the dash to the firewall. And we got the steering column located and we had the customer come out and final fit the column to his depth being a tilt compensating for the steering adapter and the, the steering wheel. So we got that done. Let me get a, if you want to look in on this side, you can see we have the uh, American Auto Wire fuse panel mounted way over here. And then this is the fuse panel, the ECU and the trans controller for the Connect and Cruise engine package. He's located the hole through the firewall and then we have a seal, uh, it's called, the brand name is called Seal, Seal Zit and it's a two piece rubber grommet that will, once he gets the final wiring, uh, the side, all the wiring that comes through the hole, then he'll cut the, the rubber down to fit around that and seal it up. But all of this is actually, studs are located to the firewall. These panels are actually mounted to an, a, saw, a single piece and then that whole plate goes on as a unit. And we've got studs to compensate for thickness of insulation and carpet. So that's kind of where we are. We got the AC controls located. Column mounts are all located. The lower column mounts located. Throttle pedal. So, so you can hear me? Yeah. We had a little equipment malfunction there. No. So this is the uh, uh, Tri-5 Chevy truck we're doing. Uh, this one's out of uh, San Antonio. So you... Just to kind of give you a little update on it, uh, we've sucked in the bumpers. We're going to smooth all the bumper holes, or have. We've radius the ends also to kind of flow with the wheel opening. We have a lot of the engine compartment work done. Uh, connecting Cruise LS. This is the uh, Hot Cam LS, the 525 horse. It's got the Holly mid-mount uh, front drive system on it. We have our... Uh, CNR radiator, uh, aluminum radiator with the uh, their fan package on it. We have the inner fenders all done. Got the bead rolls, and you kind of—I don't know if you can notice—the bead roll kind of ends on the fender panel, but then it f follows back up to the firewall. It's kind of a nice little touch that we've got going on there. Got the billet hinges on it. This particular brand of billet hinge, for whatever reason, we had to come in. And uh, of course, we had to notch the firewall. We had to notch the firewall just to make sure there's plenty of clearance for the hood to go down. That's not something that we normally have to do, but on these, we had to do it. And that's with the hinge in the all the way down position here. So then on the inside, we finally got the seat in. This is a Sorello seating out of California. This particular customer wanted the split back bench seat with the fold down armrest and we just don't have the back foam foam in it and this is so when he shows up he's coming in early next week to do some fitting and go over some other stuff but we got all the uh, lower dash extension ac stuff panels all that's going to be mocked up or assembled for him to see we'll put the shifter arm on it and get a feel for where he wants the seat and the height tilt column i, I did it all the controls are also up, or electronics are mounted up under the dash on this one. And then we got the bed. So we, we went with a, a new complete Marque bed. Now this frame is a Roadster Shop chassis where the other truck is a Art Morrison chassis. But on this particular package to get the ride height that we wanted, we had to do a raised floor. So this is what they call a raised floor. It's a three inch raised floor. So instead of this coming all the way down and this actually being on the frame, they raise it up. So the side rails here are raised up three inches from stock. And uh, we'll also be cutting, once we get the customer to commit to wheel and tire size, it looks like we're gonna run a 20 by tw 22 by 12 in the rear uh, and a 20 by eight in the front. But once I get that confirmed when he's in town, then we'll figure out our diameter for our wheel tubs because we're gonna be coming in with a pretty good sized tire on that. 
And then back here in the back, let me move this out of the way. We got the bumper, new bumper, but we've got it, we've got it mocked up upside down from how they're normally mounted. This cutout for the license plate, and then the bumper is usually lower. And you can even use that other red truck that we have as a guideline. But we've sucked it in. This is as tight as we can get it. We've done some uh, kind of pre-notching, get it tight on the fender. And then uh, this is a piece of cardboard. We painted, painted it black, notched it to go around to get a visual. But this would really look good on this truck, all that work. Then the Marquet, one of their packages they offer is the hidden, hidden straps. So we ha we've got the tailgate design like that. This really nice hidden latch that goes on there. So we have that. And then we'll get the customer to commit to some uh, tail light packages or a tail light design. But then we're also thinking about doing, we, we may do this, it just depends on the customer. This is a what they call a drop down or a hidden license plate assembly. And this might go way up and under here if we can get it high enough. And then this would fold down and that would be your license plate. But we're I'm afraid that this is gonna be too low doing it this way. So we may, I don't know what he did with his magnets. So, but then we're trying to figure out exhaust outlets. So Kenny drew up, we may end up widening this out a little bit and bring two exhaust outlets contour to this where they come over and then come down and back in flush with this and then put a license plate in between them so to do that we would actually cut this out move it out weld it back in to make this opening a little wider and then nothing would be below the, the bumper of course it'll have the shaved bumper bolts so that's kind of where we are on that package we're back on the 56 going full full bore on it uh, we've mounted the overflow tank now. We got it mounted. It will be hidden under this panel. Got the AC lines done through the panel because this panel is going to come all the way down into here. This is all hidden. He's got the uh, power steering overflow tank or the reservoir for the uh, intercooler will be there. All of this is up and under the this hidden panel. We got that stuff done. Uh, I don't know if in the last video when we if any of this was done on here, I don't think this was. So we made our own inner structure. It takes a lot of that twist out, almost all of it. So that's, we're, we've done that. Uh, he's been fitting the uh, windows. Which way? Let's go on that side. You'll have better visual. So customer wanted uh, all windows powered. So we're just using the old glass assemblies to fit everything. So we have the power windows in there. We actually have all new glass. And uh, on this one, I got all brand new glass coming from Auto City Classics. I think they're in Minnesota, Michigan, up in the Northeast. So he's, we got that all mocked up. Got all the door structures done. Inside, power window kits in the rear. He's got all that done. He has been working on um, putting a rolled tube, it's hard to see, but you can feel it. So we actually took some half inch, or three eighths, three eighths steel tubing and curved it and rolled it to fit. And then he's tack welded it to the lip. So we cut some of that lip off. That gained us a lot of wheel and tire clearance. And we'll do the same thing back here in the back. He's actually already got this side done also. So we took that one inch wide lip off of there that gained us a lot of clearance, makes it easier to get the wheel and tire up in there. But we've done a lot of work on this car now that we've, back, we've been back on this one about maybe 30 days, maybe. I don't know if this one's ever been in any of our videos. So this car, this Mercury, 50 mile Mercury, this is out of uh, way over on the west side of Fort Worth. It's just here right now for what we, I call it warranty work. We did a bunch of work on it. We basically did everything on it, but the paint and body work. We stripped the body off the frame, redid the whole frame. This is actually sitting on like a Monte Carlo chassis, but it's got an LS engine in it, uh, connecting cruise package. I don't have a prop for it. Uh, so it's here to, it was running hot. 
Well, I think what happened is, is we didn't catch it that it had an air pocket in the coolant system. And when the customer finally started driving it, it burped that air pocket out and it was low on water. It didn't overheat or anything. It just was running a little hot, hotter than it should have been. So we got to address that issue. Oh, and the, the choke, it had just a choke cable on it for a hood release. We're going to take that off and go to a more flexible stuff, something like a low car cable with a better, better handle more leverage but the car's been in the upholstery shop for a while and one of the headlights is out so we're just doing some maintenance some of it's billable some of it's not then uh, the Lincoln we've been doing some test driving on it carburetor's been leaking a little bit so I have a rebuild kit that came just came in today and we've been fighting still some of the glass issue issues on it but we got uh, the vent window assembly assembled back together for one side uh, still working on the door glass for the other side and then he's in the process of re going through tearing the carburetor apart rebuilding it we got that uh, the Fox body that we did a video on earlier uh, is here customer wanted to reach redo the ring opinion in it and so we have that actually sent out being redone uh, it's a it was a pro gear assembly like a 410 gear we're going to actually believe it or not a 3.0 gear ratio which is requiring some case modification because the pinion gear is so so large in diameter and i actually have a comparison photo that you can do a uh inset photo just showing that so i'm just waiting on we send that stuff out we don't do that in-house so i got the guy that we send it out to us taking it apart and putting it back together. So once that comes in, this car will go back together. We'll test drive it, make sure everything functions, no noise, no vibrations, and then uh, this car will go home. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. Uh, we're getting real close to starting back up on the 63 split window. Uh, we, let's walk down here to the paint shop and just do a little quick walk, touch up on the uh, Torino. Of course, the Torino is going to have its own. Just touch quick base on the Torino. Uh, He's doing a lot of the uh, final fit and finish on the body work. So it's still in rough prime, but he's working on all his little detail gaps, what he's been working on. You can see, see here that some of it's still in bare metal. We haven't even got the epoxy on some of it, but uh, he's got tape lines on the side of the car so he can sand to his tape lines, get the really crisp edge. He'll sand it up to this edge of the tape line. Then you'll put the tape on the other side of the line and sand up to it, and that'll give him a nice, clean, crisp lid. So that's kind of where we are on this. It's just rocking and rolling as it, as it goes, one day at a time. And we'll have a complete video that we're working on on this car as a total build. This will, that, total, that total video will show everything he's been doing, fabrication, it'll show upholstery, it'll show the painting being done, assembly, final assembly. Uh, test driving it. I mean, it'll be probably maybe even a couple part video, but it may be just one really nice long video. And then that one, we're also going to do some uh, when we get it done. There's a local road race track that was built up in Melissa, Texas, uh, LG Motorsports. That I think built the track, and we're going to try to work it out where maybe we can rent the track for a day or two and do some videoing and test driving and breaking the car in and uh, some promotional stuff for this car. So we're kind of looking forward to that. That'll be kind of our first time getting to do some of that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's where we are on the Torino. So we just did a quick tour through the shop, kind of catching everybody up on what's been going on for the last 30 days or so. And I did want to add that, uh, don't forget that we also sell parts. We're distributors for just about anybody in the industry, if you need it, give us a call. We'll help you out with your problem and make sure you get the right part for what you're trying to do. So I want to thank you all for joining us and uh, please tell all your friends and then also um, like and subscribe to the video and join our account if you haven't yet. We appreciate it. Thank you.